There are hundreds of food-related shows currently available on Netflix, encompassing a myriad of themes such as cooking, food competitions, renowned chefs, eateries, global cuisines, and the list goes on. Selena Gomez is on a brand new cooking show that will take place in different restaurants. Food Network announced that the actress will star in a new show called Selena and Restaurant. The show, which will be available to stream on Max, is a spin-off of the show Selena and Chef. Selena and Restaurant premieres May 2nd with two back-to-back episodes. The season will feature Gomez exploring the competitive LA food scene with a best friend Raquel Stevens, who was also featured on Selena and Chef. Talented chefs like Gordon Ramsay and Alex Gomeshelli taught Gomez how to cook at home in her original Food Network show. And this time around, renowned restaurant chefs will teach the megastar the ins and outs of the restaurant industry through a series of six episodes. Selena's show, Selena and Chef, proved to be remarkably successful, and this serves as an excellent sequel. It will undoubtedly rival creating food with Megzi, or whatever title she chooses. Furthermore, it's airing on Max, a superior streaming platform compared to Netflix. Meghan would have preferred to do this instead of renting a fake kitchen. Meghan Markle reportedly started filming a first solo series for Netflix on Tuesday, but Harry and Meghan's home will not be on display during Meghan's cooking show. According to Daily Mail diary editor Richard Eden's sources, Netflix has rented a property in which to shoot the new series. Megan isn't filming outside her own home for want of space. The Olive Garden is valued at around £11 million and boasts, according to some, nine bedrooms, 19 bathrooms, a gym, bar, five-car garage, and more besides. Netflix has said the show will celebrate the joys of cooking and gardening, entertaining and friendship. The series is due to tie together with Megan's latest business venture, a lifestyle brand called American Riviera Orchard. It appears that Netflix may be uncertain about how to handle the Harkles. Their production seems comparable to Random House, Penguin Publishing, The Bench, displaying minimal effort from an individual with limited talent who lacks merit for such recognition. The solitary culinary endeavours witnessed involve poorly prepped hamburgers and distasteful attempts at grilled lettuce. The extent of her association with gardening seems limited to carrying sizable bouquets of market flowers. Prompting questions about her living arrangements on a presumably landscaped estate with employed gardeners. Regarding the notion of entertaining, there exists a dearth of photographic evidence depicting a hosting guests within her residence. As for companionship, one must question the genuine desire to befriend her. Similar uncertainties arise concerning her husband's contributions. Harry's show will feature professional polo, one of his favourite sports. The streaming giant says that it will provide viewers with unprecedented access to the world of professional polo. It added, Known primarily for its aesthetic and social scene, the series will pull the curtains back on the grit and passion of the sport, capturing players and all it takes to compete at the highest level. His employment history lacks any conventional occupation and his educational background remains unimpressive. Characteristics such as wit, paternal instinct, kindness and charisma seem conspicuously absent. The sole distinctive attribute he possesses lies in an obscure proficiency in a monotonous and exclusive sport, which seemingly serves as the sole foundation for Netflix's interest in developing a show centred around him. The only plausible explanation may reside in a hypothetical forced impact, the consequences of which are unlikely to be favourable.